I love the little horn there. It's so sad. <laughs> Welcome back. You're looking live at the future of Pittsburgh ball. There are no Highmark first night crowds down here tonight because if you're joining us, you know the party is all on TV tonight. And it is so cool to watch this ball rise year after year. And right now, just 25 minutes left. It's so true. And we want to thank our first night friends and all of you for watching from home. It really makes us feel like we have a studio audience or something. Because, Which is pretty cool. Yeah, obviously things are different this year, but we're still going to have a blast welcoming in 2021. Well, if you watch Pittsburgh Today Live, you know David Highfield and myself host the show every day. But today, tonight, we are going to be your party host. Yeah, yeah, we have a lot planned. Uh, we're going to lead you through the performances. We have magic, we have fireworks, and we're literally blowing up 2020. It was all Heather's idea. And with the help of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, this is all going to happen. At midnight, the future of Pittsburgh ball will rise. And just before that, a performance from a very talented guy. Yes, Frizzy is an Emmy Award winner. He's a world record holder, and he is so much more. And coming up is a rooftop performance from him overlooking the city. But first, we want you to know more about him. So let's head back out to Megan Schiller because she has the lowdown on Frizzy. Oh, do I ever, David? If you want to talk about high energy and positive vibes, that is Frizzy. His real name is Harvey Daniels, and he is proud to be from Pittsburgh. He is a Pittsburgh guy. He wants you to know that he is from Pittsburgh. His music career really started taking off a couple years ago. He started getting attention, and he really made his mark when he decided he was going to rap about none other than everyone's favorite, Mr. Rogers. Take a listen. Shoot a celebration, should go like this. I'll be there because it's probably something that won't miss. And Fred, permission to speak freely. <laughs> as long as my delivery is better than Mick Feely. <laughs> I know you see. Frizzy won an Emmy for that rap called The Sweater Sessions. Musicians played their take on the classic song, Won't You Be My Neighbor. It brought a lot of positive attention his way with the city of Pittsburgh, even honoring him with Frizzy Day in 2019. And it was just about a year ago or so that Frizzy became a world record holder. You might remember this. It was in January that he kicked off 2020 by setting a world record for the longest freestyle rap. He freestyled for 31 hours, only stopping for five minute breaks every hour for a quick sip of water. So that's how he started out his year and he's going to end it with a bang right here with us. Um, it's going to be something, something special, epic, and timeless. It's, a, it's the first time we've ever done something like this. And teaming up with you guys, man, it's going to be unstoppable. And he is going to be ringing in the new year up there on the roof, right next to the beautiful future of Pittsburgh ball. So we are really excited for that. We're here on the street. I want to send it back to you, Heather and David in the studio. Time check on my non-existent watch says about 25 minutes. So get pumped. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're all going to put on our we're glasses all now. Do it now because <laughs> Megan is leading us. I don't even Thank know you, how to Megan. Turn we this appreciate it. <laughs> So and I can't fun. read with these glasses on. That's the problem. It's so much fun. Yeah. Well, as we know, Broadway has been dark this year because of the pandemic. We've seen shows canceled, and that goes for the shows that travel through Pittsburgh as well. Yeah, earlier we met two amazing performers, Marianne Torres and Nick Duckard. Here now is a very appropriate song from them for anyone missing theater on Broadway or right here in Pittsburgh. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Herald Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street that I. of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time throng. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I'll be there ere long. Regards to old Broadway and 
and say that I'll be there long. Wow. That wow. not perfect. It is perfect. I, I always think I want to learn how to sing. I, I never will have the ability to <laughs> sing like those two. They're amazing. Thank you so much. They are. They're so talented. And Nick and Marianne are going to be back to sing Old Lang Syne for us. Uh, but we have to say, you know, the cultural trust is here and they are going to be back. I mean, that's yes. why that song was so fitting is yes. that they are here. They have made it work this year and, and, and it's their And performances will be back. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, I'm just about 20 minutes to midnight now, and there is still so much to do before the ball rises. And when the ball does rise, we're going to do what we have been waiting to do for months. <laughs> we are blowing up 2020, and that feels so good just to say it. It does. But first, magician Eric Jones will have some close-up magic that you've got to see. And thanks to the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and our first-night friends, we're going to be back with more after this quick message.